Clef Max sent me this image of him and Snoop Dogg looking very tight together, but he's concerned about this really severe reflection coming off his face. This is what we call a hot spot or a flash reflection. Getting rid of these, or at the very least suppressing them, is a pretty important job in Photoshop, and there's a lot of different ways you can do it. The technique I'm about to show you is, I think, one of the very best. It's not the only one, so I'm not saying that, but I think this is worthwhile learning so that you've got this to add to your toolkit. Now, we're going to go from this burned out version to this corrected version. So as you can see, it's a pretty substantial difference. Now that we know what we're actually aiming for, we'll begin. The first thing we're going to need for this is a new empty layer. So I'll just add in a new blank layer, which I'm going to rename and call Flash Suppress. And its blending mode will not be our standard old normal. It's a special blending mode called Darken. What we're going to do on this Flash Suppress layer is we're going to paint with a plain old paintbrush and we're going to paint out all of this reflection hotspot. Now the colour we need to use is pretty much the skin tone that we're going for, so the best tool for this is to take your eyedropper tool, use the sample size of 3x3 average or 5x5 average, 3x3 is usually enough, and I'll just choose a colour tone which is close to what I'm going for. I'm going for something that's sort of on the edge where this gets very, very light to very, very dark. I'm going for something in between. You may have to fool around with the colour selection a few times before you find the right balance, but that one looks pretty good for me. And then take a paintbrush. Now with your paintbrush, I'll just make sure I'm on my flash suppressed layer. And where we go, we just start painting. Now this is going to look pretty bad but don't worry too much. There's a lot of work being done for you here by the blending mode of the layer. The layer is set to darken, so it's only going to paint where there is a lighter colour or a lighter luminosity value underneath the area being painted. So I'm making a reasonably accurate but pretty loose sort of painting selection over the worst of the hot spots. Just paint over there and there. Now there's nothing to really to worry about too much if it's a little bit messy because of course this is on its own layer so we can use layer masks to clean this up later on. And yeah, I just might just paint a little bit over there as well. Now you'll notice it's ruined Cliff's moustache but I'll get Cliff's moustache back later on. I'll take out some of that reflection on the nose, a little bit there, and that little reflection under the eye. Okay, well that'll do for me. Now, of course this doesn't look very good right now, but that's because we need to adjust the opacity of our flash suppressed layer. I'll dial this all the way down to zero, and then gradually pull it up, and you should find when you hit around about somewhere between 50 and 75 percent, somewhere around there you're going to find the right setting for toning down that hot spot. How high do you want to go? Well, you don't want to go too high, otherwise it's clearly been painted. You do want to retain some of the original luminosity of the reflection because that models the skin. You need to get that light and shade. So I'll set this to about, let's say, 60%. I think I can live with that. And I'll just confirm that with an enter. And I think that's not too bad. So I'll do a quick test. I'll just turn off the flash suppress layer so I can compare the two. Now there are some obvious areas that I just need to clean up a little bit, in particular just around here. That looks a little bit unnatural. So what I'll do next is I'll add in on the flash suppress layer a layer mask. So we click on the layer mask icon. Again we've got our paintbrush, still on paintbrush, black paint, but I'm now going to increase the size and the hardness, I'll just leave it around about 50%, that should be good. And just gently tone out and blend in where that has a border from the painted colour to the original image. I'll just paint out a little bit up there too. Don't want to take out that little bit of cap. 
And actually that's not too bad as it is. That's quite close to where we want to be. You could fill around with this a little bit more because we've got this reflection coming off the underside of the cap creating that, but no, I think we'll leave that for the time being. The only thing we're interested in here is how is the flash reflection? Well, it's looking a lot better. There are some extra little problems you'll need to deal with. One is that when you do paint over and then blend, you'll find that some of the actual texture details might start to get lost. So here's a quick fix. Turn off the flash suppress layer. Take a copy of the original image, drag it so that it's on top of your flash suppress layer, turn back on your flash suppress layer, and then change the blending mode for the copy that you've got up here to overlay. Why are we doing this? Well, when we switch this to overlay, we're going to run a special filter from the filter menu called High Pass. High pass in overlay mode, as many of you already know, is used to sharpen images. But it has a little extra thing that we want to be able to do here is we're trying to recapture some texture detail from the skin. Now when we dial in the appropriate radius in the areas that have lost detail, let's dial it up a little bit more, it starts to put in a bit more skin texture. So I'll say OK to this setting. You'll have to fiddle around with this to find the right setting for your image but I'm happy with this and I'll just compare yep sharpens the image and we get a bit more skin texture so that's now looking pretty good now the last thing I want to do here is I want to get back some of the detail of the moustache we have lost a fair bit of moustache here I'll just show you the difference that's the original and that's the after so I'd like to emphasize that moustache a bit more so we'll use a secondary technique for correcting far too light areas in an image is I'll take a copy of the background once again put it all the way on top and what I'm going to do is use the burn tool now the burn tool and I'll just dial down the size here burn tool can be used to increase the contrast between different areas and you have to use it very carefully it's a destructive tool it will alter the pixels permanently. There's no special adjustment layer for creating a burn effect. So I'll just do this a couple of times. That's looking greatly improved. So what I want to do now is again a layer mask on this. Now I'm using an alt layer mask or if you're using a Mac that is an option layer mask. So that's option or alt hold down and click on new layer mask. It fills it in and we take a paintbrush with white paint and very gently, and I'll just adjust the size a little bit again, a bit smaller again, yep, very gently, just click a few times here, get back some of that moustache detail. When it goes too far, I just reverse the colours, increase the size, and now just get rid of those edges that are bothering me. Just do this a couple of times and I've got that detail back. Okay and there it is. We've got our image corrected, texture restored and moustache back in place. There you go Cliff. Good picture of you and the dog for the wall.